Good evening, everybody. How you doing? Uh, so this is the first time I've gotten to speak with you uh, in a little bit of uh, time, and there's been a lot that has happened between them. So it's just let me just say first, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I'm glad to be with you in the work that you've been doing now for the last two years. Uh, I just wanted to set the stage a little bit for tonight uh, by saying, first of all, thank you for being here and for the immense amount of work that you've been doing over the last two years. Um, your leadership in developing this plan is critical to the reason why we're actually here and on the cusp of uh, adopting the first ever climate action adaptation strategy for the city of San Antonio. I certainly want to say thank you to Doug and the Office of Sustainability uh, and all of the city staff uh, and workers and volunteers who have been part of this effort uh, working on their draft. Uh, on this draft has taken every bit of resourcefulness and determination and creativity and I would say uh, good old-fashioned patience in getting to this point uh, and delivering a plan that ultimately we can be proud of and that will be more than just a document that sits on a shelf. Outside of city, city staff, you in this room remain the only stakeholders who have directly written portions of this plan. Before you, there was nothing, uh, just a lot of talk. Uh, and so thank you for the work that you've done to actually draft this climate action adaptation plan. When this document is ratified later this fall, and I don't know if we have the, the timeline uh, available, but I think it's uh, scheduled for mid-October. Uh, when that happens, it will send a clear message to both our city and to our nation and to our global partners that we are standing up to tackle climate change. And we're doing that in the backyard of Eagle Ford Shale, of all places. But I want to be clear, uh, and I can't stre stress this uh, enough. The Climate Action Adaptation Plan that will be ratified by the City Council this fall uh, is a living document. As technologies evolve and, our, and the global grip of climate crisis uh, tightens, there will always be an avenue for refining and updating our Climate Action Adaptation Plan. Um, that's true about the context in which we are operating, the resources that we will have to deliver and to implement it, and even the politics regarding uh, climate change itself, which are, in fact, evolving. Uh, and I would say even in a positive direction, uh, by gosh, in the state of Texas. So that will continue to happen as people get smart about the fact that it would be reckless for any community to ignore the challenges of climate change. I'm particularly proud of the adaptation and mitigation strategies we'll be taking at the municipal level some of which have been underway already, as we are the only institution whose policies are fully controlled by your city council. But I do understand that there are concerns, there are reservations, there will be uh, from here until the next 30 years when we achieve compliance. Uh, and some of those are directly related to our energy utility, CPS Energy. Please know that the city of San Antonio does own CPS Energy, uh, but we can only go so far in terms of what we ratify and plan for. Uh, it's up to us for implementation. I'm encouraged by their willingness to be part of this process and their status as a leader in areas of energy, including uh, what now has become a leadership position in the southern United States for solar energy. That will continue, and your voices and our effort at the board will continue to make that happen. They will be instrumental into achieving our goals of making San Antonio a, a leader in the green energy economy. I also look forward to all of our institutions in the city adopting this plan and getting behind it as, as a community of like-minded folks when it comes to um, maintaining our resources and ensuring they, they last into the next generation beyond. That goes for our public school system, that goes for our county government that goes for all of the different voices and institutions that make up a very dynamic uh, city of San Antonio and greater region. This community must come together to address this crisis and this plan opens the door for even further participation so I'd like to also take a moment to thank the San Antonio water system for hosting us this evening. So here, we're, here we are. Um, this plan has come after a long 
period of 18 to 24 months, we are no longer searching for options. We have a plan in front of us, and from it we'll launch bold and deliberate, deliberate policies that will shape a cleaner, brighter, healthier future for all of us. And so on behalf of the city of San Antonio, our residents, uh, I want to say thank you. You have our commitment to keep working with you uh, for the next 30 years. Anna and I will both still be alive. Our, our, uh, our colleagues will too, for the most part. Um, but certainly our children and our grandchildren and, and yours as well will be uh, benefiting from or enduring the consequences of our actions or lack thereof. So thank you again for making this draft possible for all the work that you're doing to uh, continue the efforts even towards ratification and ultimately implementation for the city of San Antonio. Uh, bravo and good work and let's keep it up.